We are at the end of the day at WebRazi Startup 12 event. Uh, we are with Stefan Heilman, he is the Managing Director of uh, IEG Investment Banking Group. So first of all, welcome here. Thank you. Uh, you you had just your, you performed your presentation on stage. Uh, it was a great presentation, and it was about do's and don'ts for founders who are looking for capital. So, w w what are the? I don't want you to repeat all the presentation, but what are the most significant do's and don'ts for founders? What? You know, as I said, I, I, I talked about this now 20 minutes. Um, probably one of the key important takeaways is, and that's the advice which always comes for free, if founders are or behaving like they are, be like you, like you are, it's probably one of the big, biggest assets because that's the strength, that's how they started their business. So changing their, their vision, their, their, their appearance, their speech, their presentation, it doesn't really make sense. So that's something which I always give as a first advice to any founder, you know, um, there, there is a good saying about idiot PR, use your, um, use your defects and then you're going to be a star. So that's pretty much like this, you know, you have strength and you have um, weaknesses. Um, try to convert the weaknesses into strength and then you, you're a good entrepreneur. So uh, you probably have met with lots of founders so far. So how many of them all of these do's or they, they it's a majority or a minority well it must be m minority because if there would everybody would follow you know the golden rules of fundraising everybody would be incredibly successful we only had successful companies but no but um, seriously i think let me put it like this i think most of the entrepreneurs which i've met at least learn over the lifetime of their business um, at least most of those key rules and, and, and assume them and, and, and take them into their life. And I still believe the most successful and uh, will basically have a combination of the set which we presented today um, in different um, extremes. And, and that's the beauty about entrepreneurship. Even I myself, we know I have started the companies 30 years ago. I've just started a joint venture in Turkey. Um, with global security, which is a new foundation of a company which is 14 months old, I have to apply those rules to my business. So I think, to your questions, I hope in the future in Turkey more than 50%, but I'm not sure. Okay. So what do you think of the uh, Turkish entrepreneurship scene in general uh, when comparing to Europe or the United States? Well, first of all, I think the Turkish entrepreneur scene has evolved tremendously over the last three, two years. I'm here now since 1997, so I've seen a lot of up and out downs, particularly 2001. But since 2003, 4 there is a young, powerful um, wave of entrepreneurs in different sectors, really in different sectors, evolving in Turkey, which is, which is wonderful. Um, comparing that to the US, I don't really know. I, I, have to, I have to quit. Yes, the US is more sophisticated. Yes, the US is bigger as the home market. Yes, the US has English as a global language. Um, so there are a lot of advantages. Um, um, and and, and, and they, have a, they have a, there, there, there are a couple of headlines in, uh, ahead. But I can compare this to Europe and, and take the Germans. For me, the biggest similarities are between the Turkish entrepreneurs and the German entrepreneurs. You know? For me, they have, over, they have jumped four or five steps ahead um, so fast. Um, I think they're as sophisticated as any German entrepreneur which I've met, um, even with a stronger motivation, um, stronger family background um, um, and a stronger funding. So I, uh, I would say there's a big parallel at the moment between the, the Berlin internet scene compared to the Istanbul or even bit of Izmir um, internet scene in Turkey. Okay, thank you. And finally, what do you think about this? You went, how do you find it? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm, I, I actually ran across this because um, I invited um, Ada to um, Hubert Boda's DLD. So we met and we talked about this and I thought it was such a great concept. I was to the conference last year um, and, and basically this helps entrepreneurs make the market and, and become public, become prominent. So I hope this uh, Webratzi and, and your team will do this uh, forever. It's, it's a wonderful job. Thank you very much.
Thank you, and thank you for being here. Hope to see you around again. Pleasure. Thanks.